Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be talking about AMD antimicrobial foam dressing. But first, if you could hit that like and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated as it does help my channel grow. So let's get started. So AMD antimicrobial foam dressing with top sheet. So it is a polyurethane foam dressing impregnated with 0.5 pHMB. Okay, so that's the antimicrobial in this dressing. So the orange top sheet contains the exudate preventing strike through. So this is waterproof and bacteria proof. It is a broad spectrum topical anti uh, antiseptic. So it is good against um, gram positive, gram negative bacteria. So that's MRSA, VRE, Pseudomonas, fungi, yeast for up to seven days. Um, as long as the foam hasn't reached its saturation point. So when are we going to use this foam dressing? So um, when we have a wound showing signs and symptoms of a local infection, we, we need to use a topical antimicrobial to, um, to fix this. So we don't normally go straight to antibiotics, especially when it's local, because all you need is something that is topical. So we'll use this product because it does has it have an antimicrobial for wounds with local infection. Now, sometimes when we have that deep spreading infection, we can use these also um, in junction with a antibiotic, okay? Um, there were no precautions listed by the manufacturer and contraindications listed um, was don't use if a client is sensitive to PHMB, um, do not use with Dankin solution or bleach solution um, because it does deactivate the PHMB and do not use this on third degree burns. So just like with any wound, when we go to apply, we wanna make sure that we are cleansing, irrigating the wound first with either normal saline or um, sterile water, and you're drying the peri wound after. You can use a skin barrier if necessary. Um, and to apply, so we wanna choose a dressing because there is different dressing sizes um, that extends past the actual wound um, edges at least five centimeters. So you wanna go beyond the wound by five centimeters. Um, the dressing can be cut to size um, and you can notch to improve applications over curves um, or over tubes or drains existing. So when you go to apply, the white side of the foam is to the body against the wound and the orange top sheet is facing upwards. So to remove this foam dressing, you're just going to carefully lift the borders or if you have taped it, um, just gently remove the dressing. Um, you can always use saline to loosen it if it is stuck. Um, the expected outcome is that signs and symptoms of local infection are cleared up within two weeks. Frequency of the dressing change. Um, so when you first apply the dressing, you'll notice that the top layer it has lots of little tiny wrinkles in it. So when the wrinkles have disappeared and the shot, the top um, sheet looks flat and shiny or smooth, um, that's when it needs to be replaced, okay? So it can be left up to seven days, but when it starts looking flat and smooth, that means it is filled with exudate and needs to be changed. Um, and then I did add the different sizes, formats, and sizes here. So that's all I have for this video. I hope it does help you in your daily practice. And if you haven't done so already, if you could please hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it does truly help my channel. Thanks guys and I'll see you in my next video.